everybody, it's Frank McLaughlin. It's June 10th, 2023. I'm waiting on uh, 500 mile pigeons. They've been up about nine hours. Very possible that they're due. It's been pouring rain, thunderstorms. I'm gonna make a video throughout this whole, uh, whole endeavor today. Thank you. There's my Super Hen 327, just home from 500 miles. Rain all in front of her, just cleared up here. Um, she had a pass through thunderstorms, just clocked. I'm gonna go check the clock. As you can see the time, I clocked my Superstar Hen, McLaughs 19, 327. I did not ship the hen that won the last two combines. There was smoke predicted along the whole course and I'm happy I did, but 327 looked great. She was my pick bird. She's four years old, recovered from a massive hawk attack last year. And now we'll go take a look at her. Here is a four-year-old hen, 327. Just came through a lot of weather to finish the 500 mile race. Um, she's had an amazing career. She was second combine two weeks ago at the 500, beat by a loft mate, the great 321. All the feed, everything, all the mixed, you name it, is in the feeder. All the minerals and grits are over there. She looks like a million bucks. She felt like a piece of cork at shipping. She is my pick bird. Here are the hens that stayed home. They're just drying off. They were caught in a torrential downpour. That's the great 321. She won the last two combines. This is 2392, five-year-old. She's recovering from a hawk attack. Over here we have 1209. The tick hen, I don't know if it'll focus. Beside the chocolate, that's her head. She's recovering from a hawk attack. And uh, they're locked out front here. I fed them light this morning, just the depurative. And uh, the other birds will eat all they want. Here is my hen, McLaughs, um, 21388. She was one of the top hens in the 400 mile race, so several weeks ago and uh, she just landed went in the widowhood cock loft my second bird she's about 15 20 minutes behind the first bird again came through a lot of weather came through smoke she's having a drink here is the hen 327 she's a four-year-old i'm pretty lucky to be winning with four and five-year-old pigeons they're extremely smart also i think i'm at an advantage with the old pigeons because they've never been medicated in their lifetime they're really strong and I rest them appropriately. If you rest pigeons appropriately, you can have long careers. Uh, this is the Hen 327. She flew the race nine hours and 20 minutes. Pretty remarkable, 507 miles. Here's my first cock, a two-year-old. Just came home like two seconds ago. He, uh, my gloves, 21, 233. It's been pretty consistent. And again, he came in about 20 something, 28 minutes after my first hen, 327. Just clocked my hen, McLaughs, 21, 436. 436 has been fabulous this year. She was also um, head of the combi combine two weeks ago in the 500. And uh, those two hens both were ahead of the combine, but beat, beaten by the great 321 who I left home and I'm glad I did. It is an hour and 20 minutes since I got my first bird. Uh, I have 11 home, I think I shipped 20. And uh, you see the times. I thought they would have come better, but there was just a lot of weather along the course. All my best pigeons were pretty much at the front. And uh, hopefully we had some success this week. I'll know more tomorrow when we go to the club. Well, we have good news. Here is McLaughs 19.327. On Saturday, she was first north section of the Southern New England Combine. Uh, 34 lofts, 337 birds. And she was 21 and a half minutes ahead of the next loft. She was 12 minutes ahead of our second bird, which was also about 10 minutes ahead of the next loft in the combine. Two weeks ago in a working 500 mile race, 327 was 16 minutes ahead of the next loft in the combine. 
and she was second combine to our own hen 321. She was three minutes behind 321. Two 500 mile races in a row. She actually finished second New England Open and I will put the results at the end of the video. I'll put the results sheet. She finished second overall the New England Open. It was our first New England Open of the year. And uh, there wasn't even a bird on the same planet uh, in this area. As you can see, she's four years old. She's never been make medicated a day in her life. Uh, perfect health, medium size. Just a light piece of cork, super feather. Uh, leading up to the five, she flew the 500. Um, she rested for 10 days. She didn't leave the loft. She went on a 30 mile toss on the Tuesday. She went on a 30 mile toss on Thursday, the day of shipping. She ate fat seeds Wednesday evening and Thursday day of shipping. She went to the race. She was our pick bird and she laid down a tremendous performance. I'm so, so very proud of her. That was her last time out of the loft. There's, she doesn't have to prove anything else. She's just been an amazing hen. We'll get a little close up of her eye. It's kind of a cloudy overcast day today. Here is a copy of my results, 61 loss, 545 birds. Hope everybody enjoyed this format. I actually copied my friend Quintero Loft. I will put a link to his YouTube channel below. I will also put a link to all the videos that apply to this video. I hope you like and subscribe and I'll keep them coming. I'll probably document the 600 mile race um, that's coming up the end of June. Thank you.